South Carolina voters will vote yes or no about changing a single word in the state constitution, while Charleston County voters will decide the fate of more than $5 billion. Here's how those questions could affect you. Voters will decide on a statewide constitutional amendment at the ballot box. The question involves changing the Palmetto State's constitution. Currently, it reads, Every citizen of the United States and of this state, ages 18 and up, who is properly registered, is entitled to vote. So what's actually changing? Voters will be deciding whether to change one word in the state's constitution. If voted in favor, it will read that only a citizen of the United States and South Carolina ages 18 and up who's properly registered can vote. The question comes after concerns were raised during the previous General Assembly that some non-citizens were being sent voter registration forms. Governor Henry McMaster requested an audit, which found that not to be true. The audit showed the integrity of the state's voter registration system is in good standing and the citizenship verification policies are being followed. Voters in Charleston County will be voting on the renewal of the half-cent sales tax that was previously approved back in 2004, but is now set to expire in 2027. The continuation is expected to raise $5.4 billion over the next 25 years. If approved, the sales tax would not start until the previous one expires. The money from the tax would go towards infrastructure projects along with the preservation of green spaces, which would see about 8% of the total revenue. The notable project the tax is expected to fund is the extension of I-526 to John and James Islands. That project is estimated to cost $2.3 billion to the county, with the extension of the sales tax funding about 35% of the project. Other projects include Rivers Avenue mobility improvements, Highway 17 South improvements, and the Northbridge bicycle pedestrian improvements. Officials with the county say under the previous half-cent sales tax, the green belts have preserved more than 25,000 acres of green space. They also say under the previous tax, more than 200 projects have been completed, and there's another 100 that are funded and ongoing. Beaufort and Georgetown counties also have questions regarding sales and use taxes on the ballot before voters. You can find more information about those questions on live5news.com. Just click on the Politics tab. With hundreds of candidates on the ballot in the Low Country, we're working to bring you one on one interviews with the candidates online. Now, click on the Politics tab on live5news.com. There you can find our Live 5 Voter Guide where you can check your voter registration status, find your election day polling location, and interviews with most of the candidates. Thank you for joining us. I'm Nick Reagan.